begin with a health alert tonight. Officials are concerned that a disease affecting thousands of people in the Caribbean could spread to Southwest Florida. All new right now at six. We've got new information you need to hear to protect your family. As NBC 2's Joelle Parks found out, it starts in your backyard. Joelle? Yeah, Peter and Tyler, the virus is called chikungunya. It's not usually fatal, but the sickness causes flu-like symptoms with severe joint pain. Once infected, the pain could last up to six months. Mosquito control groups from all over the state meeting in Lee County today to come up with a plan of action if it hits here. It's spring cleaning time for Kathy Gardner. Doing some yard work, trimming the bushes and trying to uh, spruce it up. What she didn't know is she's exposing herself to chikungunya. The name of the disease is derived from the African word meaning to bend over because of the debilitating joint pain it inflicts. It spreads at a rapid rate through mosquitoes, even if you don't see them. We don't really have a mosquito problem in this neighborhood. Lee County Mosquito Control says they're there hidden in residential areas that mosquito control can't spray. We don't pay a lot of attention to them normally because these are mosquitoes that are around people's houses. These mosquitoes only need a little bit of water to lay their eggs, so even a candle holder like this needs to be constantly checked and then dumped out. The very best thing we can do to control these is get people to police their yards. Mosquito control districts from all over the state are brainstorming for solutions, including looking at past disasters. Martin County took on a dinghy fever outbreak just last year. That illness spread by the same type of mosquitoes that spread chikungunya. They took to the streets, finding and killing the bloodsuckers in some unlikely places. Nobody wants to be caught by surprise. Once infected, symptoms don't typically appear for 7 to 12 days. Before we know it's here, it can already be in a couple of people. To keep your family safe, eliminate standing water, wear repellent, and cover your skin 24-7, since this breed is known for feeding even in daylight. Take precautions. Thanks for warning me. Now, I just checked in with the health department, and one case of chikungunya has been reported to Lee County. It was actually a person who vacationed in the Caribbean, then came to Southwest Florida, and left before their symptoms ever showed up. We'll continue to track that for you. Heather?